it's peach season. Okay, full disclaimer, when I started this video, it actually was peach season, but then I got busy, life got in the way, and three months later, I'm finally finishing the video. So uh, back to it. All right, so in Ontario, every August, it's the, the, it's peach season, so the local peaches are absolutely amazing, but I've never actually made a peach liqueur. Oh my God, these are like so, so good. Mm. So juicy, so soft, and just packed with flavor, very sweet. Let's go make peach liqueur. Welcome back guys to another episode of things I have to make myself because I can't find them here. This is episode 12, today we're making peach liqueur, sometimes called peach schnapps, although technically that's uh, that would be distilled. So we're just infusing here, we got some vodka and some brandy. So the first thing we gotta do is blanch our peaches. You, I guess you technically don't have to do this, you could totally infuse with the peels, I just figured get rid of the peels. So boiling water, we're gonna drop our peaches in and it only takes a couple minutes, not too long. We're not trying to cook the peaches, we're just trying to soften and release that skin. So about like a minute, two minutes in the boiling water, and then we're gonna transfer those into some ice water because we don't want them to cook. Um, we just want that, that, that peel, that skin is going to release really easily uh, from the peach afterwards. All right, so let's get to it. We need 10 good peaches. And like I said, mentioned in my intro, these were, um, the local pe Ontario peaches that are in season in in um, August, <laughs> and I I let this project uh, uh, to the sidelines and I didn't get back to it for nearly three months. But here we are, so, so we're peeling and then we're uh, basically removing the pit and cutting those into fairly large chunks. I can't just I need to use a knife because if I try to just rip these apart, they're so soft they're just going to completely fall apart. So uh, we have a two quart mason jar here and I'm just chucking in all the pieces of my peaches into that mason jar. Lovely. All right, let's clean up a little bit. It's messy work here on the bar cart. Back to our, we have a high proof vodka and we've got a standard brandy. We're gonna do one cup of our high proof vodka. Now this is gonna be, those peaches are very juicy, very sweet, so it's gonna extract a lot of juice and a lot of uh, sugar from the peaches, which is why we we wanna go with, which is why I'm, I decided to go with a high-proof vodka. You don't have to, you can go with plain vodka. You can go full brandy if you want. And the half cup of brandy is just gonna give us a little extra flavor because vodka has no flavor. And there it is. So here's where we want need to let this steep for two weeks to a month, or if you wanna do like me, forget about it and leave it for three months. Either way, it's good. Yeah, three months later, there's snow. <laughs> it's now winter. Well, almost. All right, <laughs> let's get back to it. All right, so I finally decided to get back to the project in November, late November. Um, so let's grab a, a, uh, a big jar and we got some cheesecloth and a strainer and let's dump those peaches in there. Now the top ones are a little brown. That's just because they oxidized a little bit because they were closer to the surface. Um, but there's no mold, it smells amazing, don't worry about that. And the bottom ones look perfect. Those are just the top ones that oxidized a little bit. Okay, it strained through pretty easily, but those peaches absorbed a lot of that alcohol and a lot of that flavor. So we want to clean hands, make sure your hands are clean, and squeeze that cheesecloth and e extract every last bit of juice. Like I mentioned earlier, um, we've got our, we've got almost, um, we put a cup and a half of booze, but we got almost two cups full of full of stuff, full of infusion there because it extracted a lot of juice and a lot of sugar from the peaches because they were very, very sweet. All right, we did our first filtering. Now we want to filter it again through a coffee filter this time. That's going to get rid of more sediment and make sure we have a very clean product. While we're doing that, we're going to make a peach syrup. Now, unfortunately, because of the timing, peaches are no longer in season. I couldn't even find any peaches, local or otherwise, so I had to resort to frozen peaches, which is fine. Don't worry about it. We're still gonna get great flavor. So uh, we got some water, we got some peaches. Honestly, I didn't really measure. We're just gonna let those boil, extract as much flavor as we can from the peaches, and then we're gonna add our sugar. That's the way I prefer to make my fruit syrups. Don't put the sugar in and boil with it. I prefer to make a, basically a flavorful liquid, flavorful water, and then add your equal parts sugar after that. So I had about a cup and a half of that liquid. We're gonna add a cup and a half of sugar. And that's gonna create our peach syrup. I'm actually creating a lot more than I actually need for my final liqueur, but 
it's better to have more so that you can play with those ratios. So we got our peach infusion, we got our peach syrup. We need to mix those in a ratio that we like. I decided to go with a three to one ratio. Now you're probably thinking that's not sweet enough. Other liqueurs I did two to one, even one to one. But remember that these peaches were very juicy, very sweet, so that infusion um, did come out quite sweet to begin with. So we don't need a whole lot of our peach syrup to get it to a sweetness level that we like. But if you prefer sweeter, then go sweeter. But I liked the three to one. We're gonna bottle it up in our final glass bottle here. And you know we're gonna slap on a sexy label. That's just what we do here. And there it is, our peach liqueur. It's looking amazing. Let's go taste it. All right, so liqueur is done. And I'm going to compare it. I've got them two right here. Here's my liqueur. And here is the one I'm gonna pair to. It's the only other peach liqueur I have. Is the um, Dr. McGillicuddy's Peach Schnapps, I believe it's called. May or may not be schnapps. Either way, we're gonna compare the two. So I've got them right here. I'm gonna start with, so I'm gonna start with the Dr. McGillicuddy's and then I'll do mine. Okay, it's a strong peach flavor. Good sweetness, not too much alcohol burn. I mean, that, that's a great peach liqueur. Nothing wrong with that. Let's do mine. Enough peach flavor, strong again, but different. Yeah, it's, it's they're both peach, but they're both different. Um, in terms of the alcohol bite, I think I hit roughly the same mark. It's around 21%. Yeah, it's 21%. Mine's probably around the same, 15 to 20%. Um, sweetness levels on, is on point. Yeah, it's just a different, it's weird. So, you know what it is? This, the peach flavor that's coming off mine tastes like a peach dessert, like a peach pie or a peach cobbler or something like that. Or, or, um, or you know, even, even uh, the, um, uh, those little fruit cups, little peach fruit cups that you get. Um, that's what it kind of, that's the peach flavor that's coming off of it. It's, it's fresher, it's, um, yeah, that's the peach flavor, like a peach dessert. Um, whereas this, it's a little more artificial. Um, it's flavor tastes more like, um, like peach candy, like the fuzzy peaches. That's, that's what I'm getting more on this one. So I don't want to say it's bad because it, it is, it is a pretty good peach liqueur, but it is more artificial. Mine really does taste like freshly picked peaches because they were, well, with the exception of the of the syrup, which unfortunately due to timing, I had to use frozen peaches for that. But the peaches that were infused with the vodka and the brandy were freshly picked local peaches. And I think that makes a huge difference. But at the end of the day, they're both really good. Uh, so go ahead, if you want, make your own peach liqueur. Uh, follow my recipe, make your own peach liqueur, peach schnapps, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's quite simple. It doesn't have to take you three months like it did for me, but um, it does result in a really good product. However, there's some great peach liqueurs out there, so don't feel like you need to do this. Uh, technically, I didn't need to do this because I do have the Dr. McGillicuddy's available, but it's still a fun thing to do. All right, guys, stick around. Um, later this week, we will be making, of course, some cocktails using the peach liqueur. So stick around, make sure you are subscribed, and we... And Later, we will see those, uh, or if you're watching this later, click on one of those links somewhere and uh, check out cocktails made using my homemade peach liqueur. We'll see you next time. Cheers.